Hi guys, welcome back to Book Talk. And I am here with a choose your own adventure. So we have a bunch of books where there are different endings. So like these two have 12 exciting endings. This one has 17 terrifying endings. And you get to pick your own adventure as you go. So I was gonna show you how this works and then you guys can come into Patterson Library and choose your own adventure. So let's get started. We're doing Fright Night. So it gives you a warning in the front of the book. Do not read this book straight through from the beginning to the end. These pages contain many horrifying adventures and you may have a while spending an evening at Daredevil Park, the most frightening amusement park ever. Oh, hey. It's Walt Sutherland, your mom calls. You mark your place in the book you're reading and you head for the phone. Walt's a friend of yours from school. Knowing him, he probably wants some help on his homework problem. Hey, Walt, what's up? Hi, you got any plans for next Saturday? I don't know, maybe go to the movies? How would you like to do something really cool? Like go to Daredevil Park, he asks. It's their grand opening. Ha they're having Fright Night special. Half price admission gets you into everything. There are several Daredevil parks around the country. This is the newest one, about 40 miles away. And you've heard it's really awesome. Virtual reality, high tech stuff that makes ordinary rides seem about as scary as vanilla ice cream. That would be great, you say. But how did we get there? My Uncle Jay said he'd take me and my cousin Kira and you could come along. Count me in. If I can talk my parents into it, I'll let you know tomorrow. You find your mom and dad looking at some travel brochures they have spread out on the dining room table. When you tell them about going to the opening of the new Daredevil Park and how you'd get there, your dad's eyebrows go up. So at the end of each page, it will tell you where to turn next. So that's the picture of them sitting at the table as he's coming up to ask for permission. And it says go to page two. Mm, how old is Walt's uncle, he asks. He's old, dad, he's an uncle. Well, it's nice of him to offer, your mom says, but Daredevil Parks do not have a good reputation. The one in Texas had to close down because 12 people got frostbite on their journey into the North Pole ride. And one on Log Island was closed after a submarine on a submarine ride sprang a leak, says your dad. A man almost drowned, your mom adds. But they've put all kinds of safety features since then, you say. The new da daredevil parks are safer than ever. That's not saying much, your dad says, and I've heard their ad for this one. Come into Fright Night at Daredevil Park. Nothing in your experience, nothing you've ever heard of will prepare you for the tr terror. They even have a warning not to try if you have high blood pressure, your mom says. Oh, they always give out warnings like that, you say, so they won't get sued or anything. That's what I'm afraid of, your dad says. That's something will happen. Come on, dad. You have inspectors to make sure it's safe. I'm sorry, they have inspectors to make sure it's safe. Your parents exchange glances. You know they don't want to let you down. All right, your dad says, you can go if you're careful and your mother agrees. I'll agree, says your mother, if you promise to be careful. If Walt's uncle promises to get you home before 10 p.m., your parents won't budge from the 10 o'clock deadline, but you will call Walt and he checks with his uncle Jay, who says that's okay with him. He'll just plan to get you all to the park earlier. The next week seems to take forever, right up until the last day. It's, at the, it's certain whether the park will open. The rumor was going around that the rides are too dangerous, but suddenly there you are with Walt his Uncle Jay and Walt's little cousin, Kira, walking through the turnstile at 5 p.m. The sun hadn't quite set yet, but as far as you were concerned, Fright Night had begun. You bought 
you brought some money along, but Uncle Jed Jace has no problem. He's willing to pay for everyone. You were right about his being old. He's Walt's dad, bigger brother, and works in a bank. He's overweight and has a ruddy complex. You wonder if any one of those people with high blood pressure at the park ads warn about that. Just inside the gate, you stop to read a small black sign with white letters. Somewhere in Daredevil Park is a one and a half pound solid gold key. If you can find it before Fright Night is over, it's yours to keep. Well, I wonder what the key opens, Walt says. I don't know, you say. Sounds awfully heavy for a key. The man nearby who overheard you saying this, it may not open anything, but a pound and a half of pure gold will be worth about $9,000. That's what I figured, Uncle Jay chimes in. Cool, cries Walt. Let's find that key. At the moment, you are startled by a clown fight. One clown, sporting an oversized puffy red nose, is hitting you with a stick. The others run off, yelping and yipping like frightened dogs. The red-nosed clown chases them a few steps and then suddenly veers in your direction. Here it ducks behind Uncle Jay for protection. The clown comes straight at you. He doesn't hit you, but he gives you the meanest look you ever saw. Then he disappears into the crowd. That was a scary clown, said Kira. Ooh, that must be part of their act. Trying to scare people who come into the park, you say? Well, it works, said Uncle Jay. I did not like that one bit. Here's one of the pictures of the clowns. And at the bottom it says, turn to page 56. So we're jumping all the way to 56. You walk across the crowd past the food vendors, arcades, souvenir booths, the first aid office, hot dogs from Outer Space Cafe, glancing around at all the different rides. You decide that the most impressive are Rocket to the Moon, which is housed in a 150 foot high aluminum tower, and the Horror Castle, which looks like a real medieval castle complete with a moat, drawbridges, walls, towers with pennants flying from them. In the distance is a big roller coaster, Trip to Infinity. You can see only part of it before it goes into the tunnel of the Imitation Mountain. It's on the other side of the lake, and you have to take a tram to get there. There's a number of tram rides nearby, like Whirl Away, where you could sit on one of eight cars and lift about 20 feet in the air, swinging from a pole. There's House of Nightmares, which is probably good for a little kid like Kira. Let's go rocket to the moon, Walt says. That's a pretty long line. How about Horror Castle, you ask, or Trip to Infinity? Uh, you have to take the tram for that, Walt says. Let's do one of these first. Kira is holding back. She's still scared from the clown. Clown. <clears throat> I think we should go to the Whirl Away, Uncle Jay says. He takes Kira's hand. The Whirl Away is for wimps, Walt says. And younger kids, you say. Uncle Jay nods, calling me a wimp, he says cheerfully. Kira and I will go on the wheel away. He looks at the park map and he's, that he's carrying. We'll meet you two at the hot dogs from Outer Space Cafe at 8 o'clock. If we don't see you before then, now stick together and don't get into any trouble. Now it says flip back to page 30. See you later, says Walt. Uncle Jay and Kira take off towards the wheel away. Which, just as well, since they probably, it would probably be a drag. We're on our own, Walt says. What it will be, what will it be first? Rocket to the moon or horror castle? This is where the choices begin. If you decide on rocket to the moon, turn to page 99. If you decide on Horror Castle, turn to page 44. So, that's where we're going to stop. 
you guys can come into Patterson Library and pick a variety of different ideas to choose your own adventure. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.